Friday in maths we always do a bit of a maths test and these maths tests check your mental maths and they include questions on addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and fractions. Now last week I went through all of those different questions so if there are any you're still unsure of have a little look at last week's video because this week I want to focus on some missing number problems okay because this are, these are the kinds of questions that get us a bit confused so I've got 330 take away something we don't know what equals 100 and we've got to think what do I do with these two numbers to get the answer now I think so I've got a 330 but I've got to get to 100 so if I took 100 away from that, that would give me my missing number. So 330, take away 100. Again, if you can do this mentally, that's brilliant. I'm going to do it this way just to remind people of column subtraction. So I think that if I did 330 take away 230, I would get... 100. Now if you're still a little bit unsure, something else that you could do is to do this calculation now you've got all of your numbers and check that you're right. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I've got 330 and I'm going to take away 230 which is the number we've just found out to see if I get 100. So I want this number to be 100. So 0 take away 0 is 0. 3 take away 3 is 0. 3 take away 2 is 1. Which must mean that my 230 that we found out earlier is correct. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Your next one then says 213 add something equals 500. So I've already got 213. I need to add something else to make it 500. Now if I added these two numbers together, I'd get 713, which is bigger than my answer, so I don't need to add them. Now if I think about the opposite of addition, the inverse, it's subtraction. So I can take these two numbers away, making sure that we always put the biggest number on top. So here I've got 500, take away 213. Now if I've got zero, I can't take three away, so I need to go next door. But my next door is also a zero, so I've got to go next door again. The four, the five becomes a four, and the zero becomes a ten. Now I can go next door. So I can't do zero take away three, but I can go to my ten. So my ten is now going to become a nine. And that zero is going to become a 10. So 10 take away 3 is 7. 9 take away 1 is 8. And 4 take away 2 is 2. So I think my missing number is 287. And remember, we can check that answer by doing the calculation because we've got all of our numbers. So I'm going to now do... 213 add 287 and I want this number here to be 500. So 3 and 7 is 10, so I write down the 0 and carry the 1. 1 and 8 is 9, don't forget to add our extra 1 which makes it 10, so again I need to write down the 0 and carry the 1. And then 2 add 2 is 4, adding my extra 1 is 5. Now the other type of question I want you to go through today was multiplication using three numbers. So here I've got the question 5 times 2 times 8 and we're going to start by looking at our first two numbers. So our first calculation is going to be 5 times 2 and we all know our 5 times tables and our 2 times tables so we know that really quickly the answer is 10. So we know that this equals 10. 
And now what we've got to do is we've got to do 10 multiplied by 8. And again, we all know our tens, so we know that 10 times 8 is 80. So the answer to 5 times 2 times 8 is 80. Okay, let's have a go at this one. So 2 times 3 times 6, we're going to start by doing 2 times 3, which equals 6. And then when we've got that number, now I'm going to do 6 times 6. And 6 times 6 is 46. Now all of your questions today are asking you to use your knowledge of the four operations. So addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And you will have some fraction questions. Remember, if I haven't covered something this week, what I did last week, go ahead and look on that video and it will help you there. But please, please, please make sure you check your answers for silly mistakes.